Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah. Today I am going to show you uh, how to create a, a color, how to color the cells in Excel using based on the drop down list. Okay, so um, I have a video um, that I created a while back how to create a drop down list, so I'll make sure I link that down below. But for now, I am going to show you how to create this um, drop down list uh, very quickly. So select whatever column you want to uh, add a drop down list. I am using column E and uh, go to insert, uh, I'm sorry, go to data and then click here data validation. Under data validation, use data uh, validation drop down from here select list uh, to allow so now you can able to add your source uh, it could be a word a sentence uh, i am going to use a simple yes and make sure you always use column to separate the word or the sentence you are using and then that's how you create so i want to have a drop down just a simple yes and no okay then okay so you can see, uh, I start seeing here, I have a drop down list, okay? So uh, to make, to apply for all uh, other cells in here, just control C and then control V, copy paste. And then now you have your down, uh, drop down list, okay? So now from here, uh, today's video is how you can color it based on your selection. Uh, say if I want to uh, select the yes I want able to see a color here and that kind of helped me to have a better view right if I want to select a no I want to see um, a color a different color in here to give me a better view okay so to do that uh, you select the whole uh, so sel select the whole cell and then come to the home here under this conditional formatting uh, pick um, highlight cells with rule and then equal sign okay so you have this equal sign um, I'm gonna select it if I have a yes I will pick green filled with dark green text okay now if you want to you can go on custom format and change it to uh, whatever color you like to add in here so you have a lot of more options you can change the font and if you want to have a border you can do you can play with it in so many levels so for me I'm just gonna use a simple uh, green field with light okay since I have two selection I'm gonna go back again and then equal sign and then I'm gonna say no for no I'm gonna pick light red filled with dark again you still can go and change the custom uh, formatting if you like and then you say it okay All right so now if I use yes it will change the color okay and then if I choose no it will change the color to no or if I type no oh, so since I have it I have to make sure I type the exact way so no it will change it uh, my one thing I would like to mention here, when you do a drop down list, you make sure uh, you typed it all. If it is all caps, make sure it's all caps. One of uh, the reason we're using a drop down so people don't uh, type whatever they feel like. So you are actually setting up rules how you like to see that list. So if I am typing yes, I have to make sure all caps. Uh, if I want to use a small one, it's not going to let me in, say try again. Okay, so that's one of a uh, really good reason why we add in drop down list. Okay, so now you can able to do it this way. Just to add one more thing, um, if you like for any reason you don't want this conditional formatting and how you can uh, remove it, you can just go in here clear the rules you can clear like let's say if you have a selected conditional formatting in your table and then you can only select uh, and then clear the selected 
cell or you can actually clear the entire tree so it's how to it's up to you how you want to do it but uh you can just clear it this is the only one i have so you can clear it that way uh just fy all right that's all i have for today thank you so much for uh watching my videos uh subscribing my channel i appreciate it and uh, i will see you on my next video thank you